I'm Valda Ford, and we have been talking about prostate health and men's health. And today, I get to do the interview. I'm talking with Chuck Gallagher, my friend, Chuck Gallagher. Now, I know you are a person who has an intimate knowledge of prostate issues. Let's talk about uh, it. Oh, I sure do. Yeah. Valda, when I was 47, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And it was the most unusual circumstance. Mm -hmm. One, I had no symptoms. I mean, right. nothing. Um, but I had vanity. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, I went to my doctor and, uh, and I told her, I said, I, I want this pill. I think it was called Propecia or something like that. Anyway, long story short, it's supposed to keep your hair from falling out. Right. And I used to have a forehead, it went to a five head, it's now going to a six head, it just keeps migrating. I'm, yeah. Anyway, she said, well, if, if you're going to do that, you have to, you have to have a blood test. And I hate blood tests. Right. Oh, with a passion. I, I just hate getting stuck. Mm -hmm. She said, well, not giving you the pill unless you have it because it can artificially low, lower your PSA. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking, what's a PSA? PSA. But eh, vanity outweighed my uh, fear yeah. of, the, of the needle. Yeah. And I had the blood test. And uh, interestingly enough, I get this call, and she said, well, everything looks really good. I'm going to give you a prescription, but your PSA is a little high. And again, at this point, I'm like, okay, what's a PSA? Right. And you know, as well as I do, prostate-specific antigen. What is that? Mm -hmm. And she says, well, it's, it's just a way to measure prostate health. Of course, found again from a blood test. She said, but I'm going to refer you to a urologist just because it seems a little high, and I think you had mentioned earlier that the number four, mm -hmm. right, yeah. was that magic number, I don't know who came up with it, but the magic number, and mine was 4.57. Right. And for a person age 47, she said, hmm, That was a little high. a little high. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go further with that, um, from a medical perspective, you might want to help us know, because we've talked about digital rectal exams and PSA yes. and all everything, but, but talk to us a little bit about the process of getting your PSA checked. Well, getting the PSA is one of the, those things that's really simple. It's just a little blood test. Uh, you say a little a blood test. A little <laughs> blood oh, test. I hate needles. My whole thought about getting one is it takes a couple of minutes and while they're in there getting your blood, they can do all your other screenings for blood sugar right. and for anything else that might mean that you have a family history, they want to check it out. Right, cholesterol, triglycerides, cholesterol, et cetera, whatever those things are. Especially these days with blood sugar and cholesterol, which can lead to heart disease. And heart disease can mean that your manhood doesn't want to work as well. So all of those things are very important. Okay. So while you're checking that out, you just get this little test. If it is four or below, everybody's like, wonderful. But if it's a little high, especially when you're younger, as you were 47, where the recommendation is 50 years of age or older, and some people will say 45 to 50, but they're not expecting to see it high. So thank goodness you were worried about your hair. Yes. <laughs> I, I sit back and think, I may... Uh, not have as much hair as I used to have, <laughs> but I'm alive. But you're here. But I'm here. But you're here. So the interesting thing is they check your prostate. They get the number. If the number is higher than they expect it to be, then they will refer you usually to a urologist because that's their specialty, the prostate. If it's normal or where they expect it should be, they will say come back for a test in two years. Right. So... As we proceed with this series on men's health and, and especially prostate health, mm -hmm. um, in our next segment, let's talk a little bit about, oh, your PSA is a little high and you've just been referred to the urologist and what you might experience at that point. But Absolutely. Valda, you're right. I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be open and share with it. Yeah. Yeah, being a chicken about getting my blood taken, and I'm still a chicken about that. I'll tell them to use a baby needle, and they kind of want to smack me, but yeah. nonetheless, it is a lifesaver. And the one thing that I will always say is get your PSA check, whether it's at age 40, 45, 50. But in my world, the sooner the better, because 
diagnosed at 47 was unexpected and unusual, but that PSA test saved my life. I'm Chuck Gallagher. My guest is Valda Ford, <laughs> and we're talking about men's health, especially prostate issues. And stay tuned for more segments where we go deeper into the rabbit hole on prostate and prostate cancer. <laughs>